My bad. I'm sorry. This is a pretty good hand against Dagger Paladin. I have to imagine most of the hands I get against Dagger Paladin would be pretty good though. Like when I look at my deck list, I think about all of the cards. This deck's almost designed to beat Agro Paladin. I say before I lose. The Call to Arms is a pretty common play here, and then I can counter that with Coin Brawl. Ooh, Juggles. Thank you. Yes! Probably a misorder. Ah, we don't even brawl. We can go cornered sentry, cornered sentry, and then swing with the whirlwind and make him very sad. The light protects me. The light oh, wait a second. We actually have to kill the knife juggler first. Wait a second. Hmm. We could go armor smith cornered, coin cornered. Kind of funny. Would have been really good if I had Dry Whisker armor there. I mean, this is the point of the combat after all. So I think playing decks with only one dead man's hand will probably help me out also, in terms of knowing what to do in general. Yeah, this is definitely a matchup where you're not supposed to go infinite with dead man's hand. It's just a game of survival. Armor Smith did work there. Nice. I was looking for divine favor. I was only drawing one card at a time. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. <laughs> okay, I have brought. It's fine. I don't think I ever not play this card. Hmm, so I really don't want to make him draw. Or do I? The threat continues to be he draws Cold Light Oracle. 
And this should be able to, like at this point he can draw and it's fine. Like he'll actually overdraw, whatever, it's all good. Oh wow, yeah that's pretty good. It's like, sure, you can draw a lot of cards, but you can easily handle everything. Ah, Warlock. This matchup, you can mess them up with Cold Light Oracle. That's pretty exciting. If they are that deck. That Drag Whisker armor should really shore up the... Like, not shore up, because this deck was already strong against aggro decks, but... Having a deck change from being strong against a deck to, like, almost unlosable against a deck is still a really good thing. We can make him burn one right now. But do I want to try to aim to make him burn two later? But right now I'm drawing cards, which is also very useful. Yeah, let's just make him burn one, that's fine. Mainly because I'm also drawing two. My hand is too full. Might be a great time to lay down the Geist. Yeah. Oh, he got two of his cards. Combination of Dark Pact and um, Mortal Coil. That means no more combo wombo with the cube. No more ability to deal one damage, also. What now? Nice little raptors. I must choose. Yeah, I guess I would be drawing too many cards. Otherwise. Yeah, let's try that. So, with Doom Guards break, that's pretty bad for me, but I don't have to break them. 3 5. Go down to 7, go up to 8. Go down to 7, go up to 10. 3 5 7. That's too many cards. What if I. No, even two of those is too much. Strange spot where I have too many cards. Just do that. Alright, so he actually is putting on a decent amount of pressure now with that card. Might have to do something about it.
pretty wild. Uh, I have to start thinking about what I'm going to be shuffling with uh, Dead Man's. I'm gonna need a brawl. Mm, I've used up quite a lot of the armor gain. Do I want to use Serrated Shield as one of my shuffle cards? I think I can take the 8 damage from this thing. The important thing is setting up so I can brawl the 4 Doom Guards that come out. It's only, what, 21 damage here? That's fine. <laughs> I won't be able to kill that one, but oh well, I suppose. Oh, right. That's great. Should be... yeah, there's nothing else in there. Uh, yeah, we don't... this one costs too much. Every shuffle in. So we're a bit scared of, uh... I mean, obviously the big cool dawn. Uh, I think so far four Doom Guards have done, but there have also been like six Void Walkers in there too. My problem is I don't have the Brawl yet, but I should be able to draw into it. Uh. Once I draw into it, I have to play Dead Man's Hand first. Ooh, that's a card I want to shuffle in, I think. We could also just double execute. Or maybe just execute once is enough. Oh, I'm going to draw Brawl if I play Cold Light. Well, no, I have a small chance of not drawing Brawl. It means I don't get to do this anymore, but you don't need Cold Light Oracle at the end with Dead Man's Hand to win, necessarily. It, it's, it's good to have it, but it's not a must. The Brawl no longer needs to be shuffled because there's no more way for him to get any minions on the board, I think. Alright, so all I have to do is deal with two more of uh, Mountain Giants. I think that's the only threats left. Nazoth? Uh, sometimes I run it, sometimes I don't. I think if you see Faceless Manipulator, there's probably no Nazoth. There's some useless cards in here, but there's some card draw to filter. Execute everything slowly. I'm almost out of car. I possibly shouldn't have a uh, dead man's tan the tower shield plus ten back. No, it's fine. We just out out survive the cavern, the carnivorous cubes. Basically, all I have to do is outmatch. 8 damage a turn, and we're fine. 10 damage a turn. Then we can definitely out block 10 damage a turn. I'd hope to. I'd hope. That should be easy peasy. 
That's 10 right there. So all we have to do to win this game is um, gain more than 10 a turn. Oh, that's actually kind of obnoxious. Uh, Alright. It's fine, we can kill one of them and I kill the other two of them. Actually, we can we can pretty easily execute three of them in one go. Quote unquote easily. I think the tower shield plus ten should go. Which seems strange until you realize that the game plan is just going to be casting shield blocks a lot. So I have to bring, I have to play the blood razors before I dead man's hand next turn. But our end game is going to look like just having shield block. Uh, that's it. So there are. Uh, Four mountain giants here, but we can execute three of them, and then easy from there, probably. Need to play out the blood razors. I just need to match 11 here. And I have to make a decision on whether or not to uh, shuffle in that last execute, but I probably don't shuffle in the last execute. Yeah, you should be out of minions completely. So basically, we're just gonna win it with uh, playing shield luck a lot. I should have attacked with this and broken it last turn. I gotta watch out, he's got like two defiles and a hellfire. Let's see, one, two, three. What else? This is potentially a problem. Wait, so when he defiles, oh my god. Oh my god, we lost. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna draw three, six, eight cards. Oh, I need hero power first. So I set one of them to one, and then the others. Three. I mean, I needed to play those, otherwise my entire hand is going to fill up to the Acolytes. But, oops. So, what I needed to do was, um... What I needed to do was spend the Acolytes earlier. Like, shuffling two of them in the deck made it too hard to remove all of them. Learning curve, learning curve. I mean, also, I could just not do it because he eventually loses. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, learning curve. My bad! I'm sorry! It's a really good hand against Agro Paladin. 
I love playing this deck against Aggro. This deck, I think, is really good against this deck. This deck against that deck. Blah, blah, blah. What made Trump play Dead Man's again? I think this uh, Dry Whisker Armor thing might be the card that this deck needed. And the Unidentified Shield is a possibility good too. Uh, it's possible that the Unidentified Shield is not good enough in this deck though, and should be cut. Possible. Speak your peace. I'm gonna hold on to the whirlwind. Speak to me. <clears throat> Combo with the fishes after he plays four mana card. All the arms. The light protects me. Reporting for duty. <laughs> it's trade aggro paladin. This is how you stay in rank thirteen. So, so far, two of the losses in this uh, deck are completely avoidable and would have been ones if I hadn't misplayed. One of them was against the Warlock, one of them was against uh, that Priest there. Dead Man's Hand, uh, sometimes you could win. Anyways, I kept these two around for anti zoo Hmm, yeah, in this matchup that should just get shuffled. I mean, that should just get redrawn. It's not great that I'm not at lower than 30 for the purposes of Battle Rage, but I've drawn a decent amount of cards. Red Lord's a little bit strange in that deck, but not unheard of. That might mean he doesn't have cubes in his deck. Anyways, time to play Geist. Might hit the Mortal Coil. Hit two mortal clothes, but they weren't in his hand, unfortunately. But they could have been. Why isn't there dirty rat in this deck? Worth considering. However, you can't put every single card in your deck. Is the reason. What if minions have the ability to gain armor in future expansions? How do you think that would change things? It would change absolutely nothing. It's the same as gaining health. Which is already a thing. I haven't had to deal with Rune with this stack yet, but it seems like that could be frightening.
It's not a sure thing that even if they have a Zari that they win, because you can just play Dead Man's and then draw your deck. So. It is also possible to mill this uh, first seal. And rule with ashes. How do you beat the three damage hero power? Oh, with shield block. I could also try to keep a cornered sentry, dry whisker, armor, and battle rage into the shuffle. Which is a more complex shuffle, but maybe good. I think I'm just gonna try to keep shield block into the shuffle though. It requires just a little bit too much setup at the moment. I must choose. That implies I should play both of these right now. I'm gonna have to start getting rid of Shadow Morn pretty fast because I have to play both Blood Razors by the shuffle time. Unleash me. Some people are saying that this uh, 4th century Dry Whisker armor isn't better than just Bring It On, but the problem with Bring It On is very meta dependent because a deck called Raza Priest exists. And because Raza Priest exists, you can't bring it on. Not to mention, like, this is proactively good armor against aggro decks, but bringing it on is terrible against tempo decks. Oh, wait, I almost cast this, my only health game, which would mean I would lose the long term for sure. Let's see, right now I'm taking 4, 8, 11, 14, 15. I don't want to kill Rin off yet, but I think we don't lose if he plays Azari. It should be interesting. If nothing else, it'll be interesting. Let's just go ahead and waste this weapon. I actually should have uh, equipped the Blood Razor first and then hit him. I know this looks strange, but it's correct. Alright, so I'm going to aim to keep the fishes around, in case of Nazoth. There is a Rin in there after all. And there wasn't Dark Pact, so that leaves more room for stuff. Yeah, I think we do that. Probably wrong to keep the brawl into whatever he's got. Since I also have fishes, anyways. If I didn't have fishes, that might be a little bit too ambitious, but I did have fishes. 5, 10, 13, 15, 17, 19, 22. It's probably worth fishing. Also, probably worth the execute. Top cards. Nice. 
He's got an Azari in the hand, but all I have to do is make sure that we draw our dead man's hand before getting Azari. Also, it's possible that we have enough burn already. Let me think about this. We take one, so it's going to take two. Can you draw fishes here? I also need to draw the dead man's hand. It's fine if I fatigue one. Alright, that's my conclusion. Alright, that is the last removal of fishes, but that's fine. I have Execute. I just need to shuffle that in one time, I think. So let's see, right now he's going 5, 6, into 7, so that's 18 damage. So if I cast Cold Light Oracle twice, I win. That's fine. We'll naturally fatigue out. It's kind of interesting. Against the Zarya, you do kind of counter just by playing Dead Man's and then drawing. So I guess the Zarya isn't to be feared. So things to watch out for against this guy is off. Five, six, seven. That should be fun. Nice start. I can't overdraw by one, but the goodness of this is too much. It also works in the Battle Ridge. Nice if I had 7 mana, I could have also drawn 3 cards. That's 7 mana, get a 2-5, get a 2-1, gain 10 armor, and draw 3 cards. It's like Ultimate Infestation, kind of. Although, when you're drawing 3 cards, you have to have used... Wow, it's... It's the Raza Awaken Remix. Interesting. Man, the card draw. I've drawn so many cards already. Feels great. So this should be like, this should be a very easy solitaire game, pretty much. Since that deck has to run a bunch of death rattle cards, it combos a lot less good. I'm also at 43 though. 
So hit the button, win the game, and all that jazz. This will probably hit something from him. Potion of Madness, Power Red Shield. Too bad. I want to keep my hero power. Armor up is pretty good against that deck. Wow. So fancy. So I need to keep shield block, unless I'm planning on keeping Cornered Century, and Dry Whisker Armor, and Battle Rage for the finale. I'll take the neutral perspective here. Two equals one. But it is interesting to think about keeping Sentry and Armor and Battle Rage into the Dead Man's Hand Shuffle. Oh, I do need to use the brawls actually. Oh, there's still a Nazoth turn though. Is it maybe just armor up here? Pass. Alright. really want to have this button. The uh, the other button isn't nearly as good. However, if I have the armor smith combo, this is going to be a really, really crazy shuffle. Also, I need to use the brawls. It's going to be interesting. We're keeping armor smith Cursed sen Cornered Sentry, uh, Dry Whisker Armor, and Battle Rage into the shuffle. And Cold Light Oracle. The idea is to Whirlwind with a bunch of guys. I do need to use those Brawls. Uh, I think I'm gonna Brawl here. Otherwise, they'll fill up my hand. I also need to use that execute. So, going to the hand, uh, going to the shuffle, the uh, hand needs to be two dead man's hand, armor, armor smith, cornered sentry, battle rage, cold light oracle, uh, one removal card such as execute. And I still need a Brawl for the Nazoth. So I'll shuffle one of those in there. Uh, one of these executes should be used. It's like a shopping list. So I don't actually need the shield block since we are committing to the uh, full armor plan. This is a really interesting finale. Alright, so two cards in my deck. I don't need to shuffle the oracle. Uh, let's see, everything else is getting shuffled, right? The Sleep with the Fishes is the optional card. So I hope to draw Dead Man's Hand, because if I draw Dead Man's Hand, then I can actually play all of these cards. Alright, 
Okay, cool. Dead Man's Hand, Armor Smith, two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Cool. <laughs> so each phase gives us nine armor that I play that combo. I would have liked to cast Battle Rage at the same time, but I'm sure we can draw a bunch of stuff. Oh, he left it all open. So now I just casually draw fourth Battle Ridge. We have the combo again. I guess I'll just play it. No, 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 we need to shuffle that. Eh, it's not absolutely essential. Hold on, my hand's starting to get flooded with Brawl. Maybe I should have Brawled that turn. I think we should play this, and then... This. Alright, that's fine. I do need to make sure to uh, get rid of Brawl. I need to have only one Brawl get shuffled in, otherwise we can start getting clunky. Let's see, we have... We still have the Armor Smith in the deck. If I draw the Armor Smith... Even if I don't draw the Armor Smith... Oh, but I need to shuffle first. Shuffling... Is shuffling okay right now? It's two Brawls, which is bad. Okay, we can clunk down the deck, that's fine. Um, so two, four, six, eight, what do we appreciate? Fuck down the deck. Almost out of cards. I couldn't play Cold Light first because I'd overdraw. Oh, there are no dead man's hands in my deck. <laughs> Your victory proves nothing. What is this class? There's a fish in Hearthstone now? Summon a random totem? Is that like Ysera's random dreams or something? Wow, new class, new cards. Casually gain 14 right now. That doesn't seem bad. Nice little raptors. Okay. Oh. Oh. 
I wonder if he has any evolves in his hand. Darn, he doesn't. One unstable evolution, two evolves in that deck. Would have been nice to hit evolve. After the evolves are gone, that deck's just a clown fiesta of random cards. Oh, look at this card! He's trying to make Shaman work. Oh! I guess I should probably brawl this. Yeah, even though it's garbage. Whatever. get through my uh, two health minions armor yet. Time to give up yet? Is <laughs> my battle rage value? Help, it's too much power. Help. Sure, why not? That's actually terrible. Eh, we can mill the slam, it's fine. I should have hit him in the face because I need to play the Blood Brazers before, uh... Shuffling anyways. One man should not have this much power. I'm just making my shuffle less bad at the moment. Fishes is a decent card against that deck anyways. The execute was surprisingly not very good though. And draw two, sure. Hmm. 
You like some cards. I guess we can oblige you. Wait. Wait a second. Did I just draw... I drew two cards with Acolyte? What did I burn? Did I have known Acolyte of Paintworks that way? Fish. 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 <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I think my hand basically is everything good now. A battle Ridge. This card sucks. In the context. And then Dead Man's. Fish. Probably have slammed. Oh well. He's already dead. How tragic. It's not even VM, I just need to use the execute so I can shuffle the deck. It's like, that's what happens if you don't give up. I actually haven't run into Tempo Rogue very often. Uh, I should be running into it at a greater percentage of the time, given how strong I think the deck is right now. This version might be better than the old versions, Bring It On, because Bring It On is extremely bad against Raza Priest. Bring It On is also quite possibly bad against Tempo decks. Hey, yeah, Rogue off to a bad start. Yay. Shall we make his start a little bit better? Hmm. Or, because he kept Firefly in his hand, Flame Elemental, maybe I assume he has some sort of combo. He has so many cards already, let's let's do it. Maybe he's gonna do Coin Minstrel. Now this would overdraw, maybe he'll avoid. I had a higher chance of giving him patches too, I guess, if I really think about that way. It's generally bad to play Cold Light against tempo or aggressive decks. Generally.
Hmm. So we can do cornered sentry battle rage, or we can do cornered sentry dry, dry whisk. That's pretty good. Maybe these even stick around for me to actually be able to battle rage. That would be insane. Ding. The Brotherhood shall come Now interesting question is do I want to kill the Tar Creeper first? Because the Tar Creeper is a good result for him to win the Brawl on. So no, we're not gonna kill it. Rewarded! I can play Century Armor Smith and then draw three with Battle Rage. Draw six with two Battle Rages. So if I draw six cards and I use four cards and I have seven cards, then that means I will be at nine cards. Perfect. Let's go ahead and do that fearlessly because I'm pretty sure I did the wrath correctly. Finally, I've played Dead Man's Hand enough to like know the quick calculations to do. When, I, when you start off playing this deck, you overdraw so many times. Maybe not you in particular, because you are a genius. But I used to overdraw all the time. So, Scourge Lord Garrosh, where one clears the board, is pretty good. Everything just flowed so smoothly this game. It's nice. And now we just play Bone Mayor, Denial, the game. It doesn't run Cold Blood in that deck. I wouldn't have been surprised either way. Would have been nice if there was a Cold Blood in his hand. Which was very likely, given that. He's holding cards. Likely cards in his hand include Bone Mare and Leroy. Here's a Bone Mare for sure. No? No. Not for sure. Bone Mare for sure. No Bone Mare. Two, five. We'll play two minions at a time later. Three, five, seven, ten is the plan, pretty much, in swing. Let the pain speak to me. Alright, if he intends to actually play it out, then I'll keep rolling the shuffle one time. Uh, the fishes, I should start getting rid of those. I, I actually should probably get rid of the brawl, because the fishes are just better in this matchup. So in the next two turns, I should look to using brawl and the fishes.
<laughs> oh, I see. He doesn't understand this deck. So he's like, oh, that fool. He's almost at fatigue. Yeah, I mean, again, someone who's never seen this deck before, they would think they're really close to winning. Strike. Oh. Annoying. I think I have to brawl here. I mean, I don't have to, but it's probably the best play. Then I'll just play this card. Do, 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 do. I'll just play this card. I'll just play this. Never mind. I didn't want to play that card anyways. It's never going to be good again. I want to just imagine him being like, What? You can do that? I thought you were going to fatigue! 